Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. You're going to love today's project because we're going to turn this envelope into a box. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. Welcome to all of my new subscribers and new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you guys so much for the wonderful way in which you support me and you support my channel. As I said in the opener, we're going to take this envelope and we're going to turn it into a box. We're actually going to reshape this envelope to make it a box. And then we're going to cover it in some beautiful papers to help make it a nice, strong, sturdy box. And here's what I'm talking about. I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's a closer look at today's project. We're going to take this seven and a quarter by five and a quarter inch envelope, and we're going to reshape it into this box. This is actually that envelope. Then we're going to cover it in some beautiful paper just to firm it up. When you're finished, you're going to have this beautiful box. This box is approximately four inches tall and it will be one inch deep. So super easy to make. I think you're going to be amazed at how you can take an envelope and turn it into a box form. So here's what we're going to need. I have one seven and a quarter by five and a quarter inch envelope, just a standard envelope, normally the type that would be used for invitations. And then we'll have six pieces of decorative paper that will measure three and three quarters by six and one eighth. We will have four pieces that measure seven eighths by three and three quarters. And then we'll have three pieces that measure seven eighths by six and one eighth. So super, super easy. And I'm going to show you how. And I'm using this size envelope, but this process is going to work with a multitude of envelope sizes that you're using. You just might want to adjust your score marks. So we'll take it and with the flap shut, but not sealed. And we're just going to score it add half an inch on three sides. And the only side that we're not scoring is the actual flap side. So I put it in and I scored on the two short panels, half an inch, and then on the long panel at the bottom, half an inch. And then we're just going to fold and burnish these scores. And then here in the corner, we're going to have two corner squares. I am just going to cut straight down and then I'll angle in on that piece. And then I'm just going to trim a little bit off the bottom. We'll do the same thing on this side. So we will cut straight down. I will angle in on the square and then I'll reduce a little bit from the bottom. And y'all, I forgot, we need one more score. So with the flap like this, I'm going to place the score that was already built into the envelope on four. And then I'm going to score at five. So hopefully that did not confuse you because now I need to fold and burnish this piece and I am going to take my finger blade and go to the second score mark and cut straight down on both sides. Go to that second score mark and cut straight down. Then I'm just going to reduce this in size and then I'll angle in just a little bit on this piece and on this piece. And so now your piece is going to look like this. You might have these little points sticking up. I am just going to take these points, add some glue, and fold the point in like that. I'll do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to take my glue and fold that point in. Then I'm going to use my little baby spatula to make it stick. So here comes the nice, easy peasy part. We're just going to open the envelope 
where we made those scores, we open it. So you're going to have this centerpiece on three sides. And you can already see that it's starting to take a box shape. So I have these little overhanging flaps here. If you have them on yours, just go ahead and trim them because we really don't need them. And this is the bottom of our box. So we're going to take our glue, place our glue on that flap and fold it. Same thing over here. Take that glue and fold it. So now when we fold these in, you can see that we have now created a nice envelope box, literally an envelope box. So we are going to go ahead and make this a stronger box so that we will have this style box available to us to be able to use in our paper crafting, however you choose to use it. So what I have done is I have used my Xyron to add adhesive to my cut pieces, and that is what we're going to go ahead and start working with right now. So we're going to take our pieces that measure seven eighths by three and three quarters, and I'm going to just take one and place it on the inside. Like this. And then I'll take another piece and I'm going to place it on the inside, on the side panel here. So hopefully you can see where I've placed these pieces on the inside and it's already starting to firm the sides. So I'll take another piece of the three and a quarter by seven eighths and we're going to place it on the side like that. I'm going to go in, get that nice and stuck. Now I have a very sturdy side on this box and then we'll take this one and do the same thing on this side. So we're just going to place it like that. And then I'll use my bone folder going on the inside to make sure that I have a nice good stick on this. And so now we have a box that has sides on it. I am going to go ahead and just take one of these pieces that measures six and an eighth by three and three quarters. So then we'll take that piece and we're just going to place it in all the way in so that it's not hitting the score mark like that. That is not perfectly straight, but y'all know what? It's going to have to be okay. And then we'll take one of these pieces and we're going to place it down right there. And I'll use my little baby spatula to go in and get that nice and stuck. And so you can see how that's starting to take shape. And then I'll take another one of the pieces that measures six and an eighth by three and three quarters. I'm going to use just a little bit of my temporary tape because I want to hold this in place. And so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it down like this and then I'll flip it over and I'm just going to trace around this piece. And then because I have my temporary tape, I can lift up. So then I'm going to cut inside of this trace about one eighth, going all the way around. And I went in about an eighth of an inch. And we'll take this piece and we're going to place it down like this. Now you might need to trim off just a little bit more. And I can see where I do want to trim just a little bit, not a lot. And I'll trim just a little bit here as well. Test this one more time. And I'm pleased with how that looks. So then we'll take our piece and I am just going to put it down. Try to get my plaid stripes matched. Doesn't always work out and that's okay. So there we have a beautifully lined inside and I'm going to take this strip that measures seven eighths by six and an eighth. 
and we're going to place it on the bottom to get that nice and stuck by placing my hand on the inside. And now we have a nice firm base. So now we're going to do the back. And for that, I chose to go with the contrasting pattern. So I am going with this nice little floral pattern. This measures six and an eighth by three and three quarters. And we're just going to take this and put it down like that. And then I'll go on the inside, make sure that I get that nice and stuck. And now we have a beautiful back. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing here and the same thing here. So we are going to take this piece that measures seven eighths by six and one eighth. And we're going to put it right there. You can see that back is really shaping up. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of my magic tape, place it on that lid. And now we can take this piece of six and one eighth by three and three quarters and place it down so that we can trace. And because I used my temporary tape, I'll be able to pick that up. And then when I cut, I'm going to cut in about an eighth of an inch to start. And then I'm going to test it to see how it fits. And I'm actually okay with the fit on this. So then we're going to take this piece and we're just going to place it down like that. Let me go in with my little baby spatula, get that nice and stuck. And there we have the back done, the bottom, the sides, the inside. Now we need to work on this. So we're going to take one more piece of that six and one eighth by three and three quarter inch paper and we're going to place it on the inside like this. And then I'm just going to trace. It's going to be a very rough trace. And there is my traced piece. I'll go in about an eighth of an inch and then I'll just trim out where I traced. And now I'm going to take this piece and just test it. And I am okay with that fit. So I'll peel away my tape backer. I'm going to take this piece. And let's try to get it stuck properly the first time. And then I'll go on the inside to get that nice and stuck. And y'all, there we have it. We have taken an envelope, a plain flat envelope, and we turned it into this really sweet box. You can dress yours however you like. You can close it however you like. To close this one, I am just going to use some of my small magnets. I'm going to place that magnet Hopefully you can see that magnet on the inside right there. And I place that magnet there to find the first one. I'll add some glue, fold over. And now I can pick this up. We'll let that get stuck right there. I use magnets, but you can use Velcro. You can use a belly band. You can use whatever you want to use to close it. I just chose to use a magnet. And so to finish it off, I have this nice little 3D sticker. It says the sweetest day. Place that right there. So there we have it. We've taken a plain envelope, y'all, and we've turned it into a box. So anytime you see those fancy envelope boxes and you don't quite know how to make it from a piece of cardstock, 
Well, no need. Go ahead and grab an envelope and start out with that. Make the box form, then cover it in paper, and you have a beautiful envelope box, just like the two that we have here. This really has that wow factor, but it's so inexpensive to make. So now you can fill this with cards, notepads, whatever you want to put in it, and give it sell it or keep it. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's awesome project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.